The State Department has confirmed for the first time an American citizen was involved in a suicide bombing in Syria. We don't know much about Abu Huraya al-Amriki, except that he grew up in Florida and went to school there. According to CNN, his name translates to the American. Earlier this week, Jihadist social media accounts began circulating photos and praise for the American, prompting U.S. officials to investigate. This video obtained by the Middle East Media Research Institute shows the suicide bombing of a restaurant popular with Syrian troops. U.S. officials say al Amriki helped carry out the attack. It's believed he was working with al-Nusra Front. That's a radical Islamist group in Syria aligned with al-Qaeda. Al-Nusra is one of the rebel groups fighting against the regime of President Bashar al-Assad, but is considered a terrorist organization by the U.S. On Monday, the State Department had this to say. Uh, I can confirm uh, that this individual uh, was uh, a U.S. citizen. Uh, involved in a suicide bombing in Syria. Uh, we are concerned about the flow of foreign fighters into and out of Syria. News of al Amriki only adds to the concerns of foreign fighters getting recruited in Syria. The fear is they'll slip back into the U.S. undetected and carry out attacks on U.S. soil. Earlier this month, FBI Director James Comey said dozens of Americans were joining Syria's civil war. It's believed there are some 12,000 foreign fighters now in Syria, with most joining two al-Qaeda offshoots, al-Nusra Front and the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. These fighters, uh, first of all, they go to uh, military madrasas. They are experienced in uh, firing AK-47s, and they have been radicalized. As the New York Times notes, it's become difficult for U.S. officials to track Westerners in Syria because many had traveled there for humanitarian reasons, presenting a challenge in determining who might be planning to carry out terrorist attacks in the United States when they return. The FBI, CIA, and Department of Homeland Security recently launched a special task force designed to prevent American jihadists from returning to U.S. soil undetected. From Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.